<laughs> you already know. We jump straight into it. Right. No holds bar. This is our spoiler talk. Yeah. Spoiler so review. So leave if you haven't watched it already. If you haven't watched Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, leave right now. And go. No, matter of fact, don't leave yet. <laughs> watch our spoiler free. That one's for you. <laughs> watch the spoiler free video review right there if you haven't seen the movie yet. And but guys, and go away. Yeah, shrink and go away. Guys, that seen the movie, you get to hang with us. Word all day. <laughs> hang with <laughs> us. What's good? <laughs> all right, now let's get straight into the movie. Let's no hold bar. We can talk about whatever we want right indeed, now. Indeed, indeed. All right, I'm jumping into it first. Listen. Let's go. Guys, I want to see consequences from Loki, because you know how when Loki and they killed Kang, a Kang, they killed a Kang, yeah. and he was like, the timeline, the multiverse is all messed up. Blah! <laughs> I want to see consequences from that. You, in in Loki, they show the timelines ripping and doing things. We haven't seen that yet. <laughs> we haven't. Or and no we? Marvel movie yet. <laughs> we haven't seen anything. So, I was hoping to see some consequences from that in this movie, which we did not get. And I was angry again. Like in the Multiverse of Madness, I was hoping for something. And in Spider-Man No Way Home, I was hoping for something. And they let me down each time. But I guess if you watching this right now, you can say, hey, Kazuma, well, they tease Loki season two at the end of the movie. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> I'm happy for Loki season two, right? You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy for season two, but that happy. doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. So hard to please. <laughs> and guys, I thought Modoc. Cause you know, he's supposed to be like an X-Men bad guy. I was hoping that they didn't kill him off. I was hoping he was gonna <laughs> escape. Oh And man. he was gonna become like an X-Men bad guy. Like he was gonna escape. And he was gonna go and bomb with the X-Men somehow. Nope, nope, we didn't get Now that. his big head. Nah, he's dead. He's an Avenger though. It, it, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He has um, he has a huge head and baby legs now. Yeah, he's Modoc, that's what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> and um, he's no longer with us. Tell him about your friend, your little... My pink guy? Out. Yeah. Yes. Tell him what you liked about him. He was funny. And he had this whole... He had this obsession with holes because he has none. Because he's just a blob. Right? And you have to drink his juice oh, yeah. and whatnot. And then you could understand what everybody's saying. You know, and it turned into your own language. The, the juice, his, his his fluids. Yeah, his fluids becomes a translator for you. Basically, so every alien you could understand and stuff like that. And I like that thing. I like that about it. How many holes do you have? You know, he, it, <laughs> it's just, I, it's just a question that like you just don't ask. And but I I found it so funny because I think it would be something I would ask. You know, if I met a strange person or a strange uh, creature, I would want to know how many holes they have. Like, how do they reproduce? What do you, what do you do? And you know what was weird? What? When he asked that um, Ant-Man, Ant-Man said seven. Yeah, seven. Why? I don't know, I, I was asking that guy. I, I was, guys, leave a comment I, down below. Cause, um, if I you was know counting. why seven, or maybe I forgot. I was thinking maybe he got shot. Maybe, No. Or he got shanked. Yeah, if you got shot, you have a hole in your body. No, but it's closed, so it's really not an open hole. That's like, is your belly button a hole? Yeah. No, it's closed, it's not a hole. Yes, it is, you can stick things in it. Diggity. Wait, not inside of you. It's things that come in and out of you. Maybe that's what they count, maybe they count the bell belly button. I, so guys, hey, no. if we're missing something, yeah. let us know down in the comments. That was very interesting to me, because I, I was sitting in a chair counting all my holes, and I was like, wait a minute. The daughter, she's hard-headed. Okay, she don't listen. She's nothing like the Avatar boy. Oh no, she's not. She's, I'll she take isn't. her any day <laughs> about than the Avatar boy. Yeah, any she, day. She's <laughs> an angel compared to the Avatar boy. Yeah, he did the opposite. Let's go. Let's go. The Avatar boy is called Opposite. That's his name. Okay, but no, but she was very hard headed and stuff like that. But I, I like to see the father daughter dynamic, and I loved when um, it's a father daughter love. You know, I, it just made me all gooey inside you know because i felt jump and tap jump, jump and, and tap. tap yeah basically he was trying to get her shrinking ability you know down pat to when she's just shrinking and then come up to fight and stuff like that so yeah that was cool i did like that the fact that she was like that i like a 
uh, activist. She always wanted to help someone out. I love that about her. The mother, the grandmother, she was just a liar. I mean, really, no, she couldn't she say- wasn't a liar. No, she, she was. She didn't because, lie about anything. Yes, yeah, she, she didn't tell anything. She didn't tell them because she was trying to protect them. Listen, tell me what could possibly attack me. Tell no, me. she was safe in the earth. But when they went Wait, there, yeah, that's when it was time to tell yeah, them. Yeah, but they, they created a machine because they didn't know. You know why they didn't know? Because they wouldn't have probably went that far if they would have known who was waiting for them. Okay? Okay. Like, she has a just, point. Just, so, like, point. let me know. Let me know that, hey, I shouldn't be delving into certain things because X, Y, Z could happen. You know what I'm saying? Just, if, if she would have told them, I bet you X, Y, Z wouldn't have happened. Bet you. I bet you. This is the second king that died. The first king that died was in Loki at the end of Loki. He got stabbed by the Loki girl, the variant Loki. He got stabbed by the variant Loki. And this is the second king that died in this movie. Mm -hmm. Like they, they just kill off kings. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked the movie. While I was watching the movie and all the ants came and took King away, I was like, that's not cool. King is a weak bad guy. I, he got beat by bugs. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that I was going, but I forgot while I was watching it. I was like, wait, in the trailer, they show King and Ant-Man fighting and he's supposed to stop on and tell me. So I was like, oh, he's going to come back. But if the movie would have ended it that way, two out, two, two out of 10. Wow. I would have given it two out of 10. Ooh. Cause you ain't going to get beat by no bunch. You, you were supposed to be the next Thanos. The next okay. Thanos and you got carried away by some ants. Like, they were really, I, I don't they, fear they, you. They, they, they were big ants, though. I don't care. <laughs> it's Earth, they better call the Earth Defense Force. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> EDF up in here. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I, if the movie would have just ended like that and no second fight scene, I would have been like, King ain't nothing serious because King is going to be in other movies, like uh, King Dynasty and the Secret Wars coming forward. I would not have been looking forward to any of those movies if Kang would have lost to a bunch of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that he didn't, and he came and gave Ant-Man the fisticuffs. He was whooping Ant-Man yeah. like he was in Creed. <laughs> yeah, he, he, really, he was like, you gonna see Rocky? <laughs> he, he, he really, you, no, for real, I really thought it was the end of him. I really thought it was the end of Ant-Man because he was hitting him dumb hard i mean i'm like really that's kind of brutal like dude like for real like calm it down calm it down you know like stop because he was just dude dude he, and he didn't care he was bashing his head into things and yeah i was like wow that's yeah. brain damage he right there he was beating he, the bloody he, crap he, out he of -Man. beat him so bad he broke his ant-man helmet thing <laughs> into shards and i was like wow okay you know what okay now it's t stop it just stop it he has permanent brain damage leave him alone yeah, and guys, like I said in my spoiler Ooh. review, Ant-Man is just a guy in a suit. He can't fight. He don't have any martial art powers, uh, not powers, martial <laughs> art skills. No. That King. <laughs> he just hits hard. He just beat the crap out of Ant-Man. <laughs> he just hits hard and was just as down hell. to, there was no powers involved. Mm -hmm. It was just pure brute fighting. force. It was brute force. And Ant-Man got his butt whipped. Yeah. Ant-Man got his ass beat. <laughs> for real, for real. He got his ass beat. For real. <laughs> In that movie, guys. <laughs> now, I was hoping, no, nah, I wasn't hoping. I saw some theories flying around, me and my friends floating. I thought that Ant-Man was gonna die in this movie. The way Kane was beating him, he, he should've. He I'm should've surprised, exactly. I'm surprised he didn't. I, it would've got a higher score for me if Ooh. that would've happened. Ooh. If that would've happened. <laughs> but high. it barely pushed the MCU forward, story-wise, because you can see this movie and not miss anything. You can probably just watch the post credit scene and be caught up to date. This doesn't really impact anything really. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. So just watch the post credit scene and that's it. But if Ant-Man would have died, I think that would have been better driving force. And his daughter would have took over? Yeah, his daughter would have took over everybody. But if he would have died, because I said Avenger officially, not Modoc. <laughs> <laughs> That would have that would have took the movie forward for me, or maybe like if him and his girl got trapped in the quantum world. Yeah, I would have took that instead. That would have been cool. But they didn't get trapped in the quantum world. They came back. Yeah. So, yeah, this it didn't really do anything with my hopes and dreams. You would have rather seen it on TV than to go to. No, the movie. I would rather see it now because 
To warn people? No, not to warn people, but to avoid spoilers. Okay. Because I would like to see it without being spoiled of anything. Yeah. So I would rather go see it, especially a Marvel movie. Because, you know, into that, there'd be some jerks out there that would just spoil things. The whole thing. Right away. The whole thing. For you. So, yeah, I'd rather go see it. But, yeah, I don't think you need to rush unless you like me and you don't want to get spoiled right away. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And tidbit. This is what I didn't know about um, Kane. Is that there's a gajillion of them. There's a whole lot. You have not seen the last. Like, what copy are you going to yeah. get next? <laughs> yeah, she's... she's uh, or normie so she doesn't really know about the comics like that yeah I but don't. that's one of the movies it's called king dynasty mm -hmm. and one of the movies is called secret wars oh. one of these movies is gonna have all them kings come and try to take over earth and no i hope they didn't come just for ant-man because he's no, just gonna, gonna die him. okay they're gonna come to conquer he's for everything to Every, conquer. everything conqueror okay he's gonna come conquer the earth well he could try it he could try it <laughs> yeah if he would have got beat by bugs <laughs> It wouldn't have worked out. For real. For real. <laughs> it just wasn't enough oomph in there. It wasn't. They played too safe for the movie for me. But I don't think it's a bad movie. It's better than the Multiverse of Madness and Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, man. It's better, it's better than, both than those Thor. Movies. For real. <laughs> for real. It's better than both of those movies. I enjoyed it. All right. If you see the pink thing in the store, buy it for me. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the X Men, guys. Bring out the X Men. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hurry bring up it. and bring the X-Men. I know them. a lot about the X-Men. Uh, that's what it's, I know a lot about the X-Men. For real. For real. <laughs> we need them right away, guys. Yes. I guess we gotta wait for Deadpool 3. Yes. Be sure to subscribe to TNK Tries It so you can watch our review when Deadpool 3 comes out. We'll be there. <laughs> now, does this change your rating in your spoiler review? Or you keep mm, it the same? No, I'm, I'm, I'm keep it the same. So those that didn't see the spoiler review. Tell them, you, tell them your review. Straight six for me. Six out of ten. Six out of ten, babies. That's right. And now, I agree with T, and I'm going to give a six out of ten. T and K both agree in the spoiler review. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium, gets a six, six out, out of, of ten. ten. It has so many options, <laughs> you know? Six out of ten. They just could have did a little more things. Yeah. And a little bit. Took out the, boring, the filler parts. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, just more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just, uh, it didn't have to go full what about mounty. Modoc with his baby hands. D no, if anybody touch my face with them baby hands, <laughs> for real, we fighting. I don't care if you about to die. No. <laughs> All right, we uh, we are done. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to watch, watch us, us grow. grow. Like, comment, and subscribe. And ding my dog. No. Do not ding ding my dog. The, just ring the damn bell. <laughs> All our movie, the playlist, is right here. Click them. Come on. Learn what, watch what we've watched. See what we see. Th see what we think about them. Okay? All right. Get to doing it. <laughs>